23rd Feb 2023. Now I'm visiting another salt farm at Lang Mai village, Tamai subdivision, Taming Long district. So it's just off the road, it's a steep climb. So you can see the farmers coming up. That is Judith from Hope Foundation and the farmer. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this was an existing garden in a way where they were growing some stuff like these papayas and banana. And you can see some terracing had already been done. The slope has been disturbed. And now they have converted it into a salt farm. This is with the support of Anaha Trust. Implementing agency is Hope Foundation. Some old orange trees. Abundant organic matter. All this biomass lying on the soil is in a way it is like a mulch to protect the soil from the sun and the rain. It will keep the moisture in and it will feed the life in the soil, the earthworms, insects, the bacteria, fungus and uh, keep the soil living which is the key to sustainable agriculture. Harvesting the tephrosia seeds. These are the beans which will be allowed to dry some more and then threshed to get the seed. That is a farmer. We fuel you. Harvesting the tephrosia beans. And that is Judith of Hope Foundation helping with the harvest. So all in all a good salt farm. This is just established last year 2022 and now we are in mid-Feb 2023. And it's good progress. A lot of biodiversity in between these hedgerows. So, Vifilu, are you happy with your farm? <laughs> yes, no. No. <laughs> yes, no. Yes. <laughs> really? Oh, because Judith said yes, you are saying yes. <laughs> are you happy? Yes. <laughs> so, are you going to... Uh, Collect these seeds and what are you going to do? Uh, plant them somewhere? This seed? Uh, this is Tephrosia. Where will you plant this? Papaya. Oh, you tell me now. Where, where will she plant this? The next step, good one. Big side. Yeah. There she's going to plant these, no? Yeah. <laughs> and in the middle, some gaps are there. Yeah. <laughs> she should plant, okay? I would do it in Lutomi, but yeah, nine times, yeah. She has to take them quite like this one. But why does she like this so much? Why does she like uh, this salt? They can't say, I see young Luni, Zulusua. I landed in there. I said, Harness, the two Huntomarane, the young Har Huntomarale. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, she like this uh, soil mm, because her uh, garden is sloping most of the time when the rains all the soils are used to go down to the road so she's planning to control that erosion so har is fertilizer no mm. good <laughs> thank you It is a bit flat and bit dehydrated. Cut the 
Probably during the seed maturity stage, it lacked water. So the seeds have not filled out. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I would suggest you keep some other plants for seeds. Okay. Don't keep the whole hedgerow. In the rest of the hedgerow, you should prune. Others, this will die after a few years if you keep on taking seed. No? Mm. They will complete their life cycle and they will start dying. Okay. Pruning keeps them in the growth stage. Rest you keep so, pruning. So in this row, see which one is will be the keep one healthy one? one. Keep the healthiest one. Okay. That you don't prune, let it grow. Okay. The rest you. Uh, so here is this papaya, and uh, below there was ginger, and uh, lower down you can see the hedgerow. This is some marigold and there is a lemon plant and what was this in front here with this red fruit we call it tree tomato tree tomato mm. this is the vegetable no yeah this is the seed it is seed right good